I'm a fourth generation Yerushalmi. As poor as we were, and as much as we didn't have, my parents' home always was an open home. For the people don't have what to eat, for people don't have what to stay. My father always made sure that 10% of the little earning that is bringing home goes for Tzedakah. My parents are Holocaust survivors. My mother has, was the sole survivor. My father was from a family of 13, and there was only, there were only five left. I met my wife in Israel, in Yushalayim. Eventually, we moved to America. Over the years, I was a diamond merchant, traveling all around the globe to buy diamonds. And over the years, like 25 years ago, I shifted more to real estate. And uh, 12 years ago, I joined venture with David Brescher as a partner in the real estate. David Brescher is very much involved with oil for many, many years. And I know whenever I call him, I'm busy with oil, I'm busy with Camp Kelly, I'm busy, I'm busy. And he says to me, Ellie, come join me and you will see. As I saw more what oil does and how they do, what they do, what they do for the club, what they do for the community, it's just an amazing organization. We live in the neighborhood for 35 years. I saw the activities of oil in many of the shuls that I went to, the programs that oil created for the special needs kids, was very touching. To me, OHEL always meant place that takes care of children from broken homes. Who's gonna take care of them? Oil is taking care of them. Who knows to find them a place? Who knows to go find a real parent, somebody that is gonna be good to the child? Only professional people that work in oil, what they care, this, this is what they do 24-7. I saw people that work in oil. With the little book running, I have a child now I can't talk to. I have a, a two-year-old. I need to find a place for them. It's Friday, Erev Shabbos. Who's doing it? Oil is doing it. Who's doing it? But in our community, if we can help out and take a child to the community and put it where it belongs. We understood that oil is building a beautiful building. One day I visited the building. Right here and there are dedicated the facility for the foster children in honor of our parents, which is really very important to us and touches our heart. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart because I really don't think that there is a more important tzedakah or place where you can give your money. Mommy and Abba, I'd like to wish you mazel tov, may it be mechal achal, from strength to strength. It should be one of many accomplishments that you do in the, in the world of chesed, in the community. They are not ones to take honors. They don't like honor. We don't like the limelight at all. So I know we don't want to embarrass you too much, but we want to say mazel tov and congratulations to the entire family. We're all very proud of you. And we wish you arichas yom and vishanim with a lot of health and prosperity and nachas from myself, my brothers, and from all the grandchildren. What I see what oil is doing is just Tremendous. Maybe by us accepting this honor, other people will come forward as we came forward. When they will see what they do and how they perform and what they create and what they do, they will open up the heart even more.